guys, I got cocky. I got cocky. I jinxed myself. Everyone got sick. Eric was very sick. He even got pink eye. And then Flynn got sick. And then the babies got sick. And everyone got sick and everyone's been sick. Eric was sick for two weeks ago. Flynn was sick for a week. Now the babies were sick and I was like, I'm invincible, y'all. I'm invincible. And I thought maybe because I was so sick on tour when I was in Florida, I was like, maybe that's what they all got since I already had it. I'm fine, I guess. But that's what I thought was happening. I just thought it was like invincible queen of the world. And even, okay, I was in LA. I texted Jojo, I was gonna see her, but she was sick. I texted her and I was like, oh, I know you're sick, but I love you, I wish I could see you. But I kind of am invincible because my whole family is sick and I haven't caught it, so I'm pretty amazing. And she responded, ha ha ha, you just jinxed yourself so hard, now you're gonna get it. And that little brat, she was right. I don't think I jinxed myself, I think Jojo jinxed me. I'm gonna send her one right now because now I'm mad at her. I'll send her a video. Jojo, I'm mad at you because I was invincible. I was like, everyone's sick around me. I'm never gonna get sick. I'm amazing. Literally, my family's been sick for like weeks. And then I text you and I said I was fine and I'm sick. And you said, you just jinxed yourself. Haha, ha, now you're gonna get it. Well, I got it. And now I'm miserable. So I'm blaming you. <laughs> I love you, hi. I hope you're feeling better. Um, Yeah, now I'm sick. And so I'm having my comfort food. I know everyone's gonna judge me for this. And I do not care because I don't feel good. The comfort food is McDonald's, guys. And it's because I think it was, you know, I had a lot of fast food growing up. We didn't have a lot of money and eating healthy was not something that was affordable, honestly. And also it's not something people cared as much about as they do now, like back when I was a kid. But more importantly, like it was just cheaper to eat at fast food places. I ate a lot of fast food growing up and I still kind of do eat a lot of fast food. McDonald's to me is just comfort food. And I know that people are gonna think I'm weird for saying that, but I've always been that way. So like my mom and I, like if we had a hard day or something was bad, we'd like we get McDonald's, drive to McDonald's and like sit at the beach and watch the waves. And when I'm on tour and I miss home, you never know what you're gonna get, what hotel you're gonna be at, what the theater's gonna be like, what the people are gonna be like, where you meet, what the show's gonna be like, what the food's gonna be like. So to me, McDonald's, I always know it's gonna be the exact same no matter where I am in the world. And if I miss home, like it's something that reminds me of home. So I always get McDonald's when I'm on tour if I'm homesick. And whenever I'm not feeling well or having a bad day, like I want McDonald's. It's my comfort food. I don't know how to explain it. And I know it's the last thing I should eat when I am sick. Everyone makes fun of me for that. Like everyone's always like, you're sick and you're gonna eat McDonald's. Like, that's the worst thing you can put in your body. But I don't care. It just makes me feel better when I don't feel good. And so come for me all you want, but it's what I like. We're really good at figuring out what was um, the cheapest food to get. You know, family of six, four kids. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people to feed. And food's expensive. Like now as a mom, I'm shooketh by how much money I spend on groceries all the time. Like twice a week I have to grocery shop and it's shocking how much it costs. Growing up, my parents were really good about like finding like the cheapest deals. So like fast food places used to have really good deals. There was a hamburger day and a cheeseburger day at McDonald's where I think the hamburgers were like 19 cents on Tuesdays and then on Wednesdays the cheeseburgers were 29 cents or something like that. It was like very, very cheap. So we would go on the hamburger day and we would get the hamburgers for like 19 cents or 20 cents or whatever the heck it was. And they used to have something called a bucket of fries. And so we get a bucket of fries and we get hamburgers for everyone. And then we go home and we get the craft slices of cheese and we melt the slices of cheese on the hamburgers and we got home. And you could feed the whole family for like literally a few bucks. Like it was such a great deal. If we wanted soda, because usually you just have water at home or milk or whatever's at home um because sodas are more expensive so we would go to there's a grocery store that had a quarter machine for sodas and they weren't like real sodas it was like the off brands like it was shasta cola actually but i loved it because they had grape soda which i loved and they had orange soda which i loved but i usually got shasta cola or grape anyway we go there and we all get a quarter and we get to put the quarter in the machine and pick out a soda so it's actually super fun but really affordable same thing with taco bell they had like family meal packs that was like ten dollars for like a bunch of like tacos and burritos we we're good at like finding the deal Anyway, so I ate a lot of fast food growing up is what I'm trying to say. It's my comfort food. It's not even that I love it. It's just like what I want when I'm not feeling good or if I'm just, anyway, I'm talking way too much. I'm gonna go. My little sick Wesley did not want a nap. So he's hanging out with me right now um, as I try to work and he's eating some of my leftover french fries. Aren't you little bugger? We're just hanging out, doing a little bit of work and you wanna, you wanna use the computer? You wanna push the buttons? Was that fun for you to push that button? What do you see? Let's make, oh. You're so cute. It's yeah, you're cute. It's the mom. Did you see mama? Okay, we're gonna go play actually, and then I'll do this later. I haven't done outfit in a day on the of the day. I haven't done outfit of the day in a while. I did one on TikTok yesterday. Today I'm wearing army pants, camouflage, what are they called? Camouflage leggings. I think these are cheap ones from Amazon. They're really soft though. Uh-oh, my phone's stinging. And um, my theater kid hoodie and uh, Christmas socks. 
<laughs> oh my god. Hi everybody. It's time to pick out pajamas for the babies. They don't feel good, so I wanna make sure it's super cozy and soft, which usually all their pajamas are, but I just wanna make sure some of them, yeah, these are big, so I want them big and cozy. This is Little Bum Bums. I think they changed their names to like Bums and Roses or something. Um, They've sent me clothes in the past, but I bought these. I buy all my pajamas from them. They sent me like a Halloween, like fall box, which was really nice of them, but I love them and I love their clothes, even though they're a little bit expensive. And so that's what these are. So I'm getting these ready, ready for bedtime for these kiddos. And for Flynn, we're gonna do monster truck PJs. Super cute. Okay, so while the kids ate dinner, I organized their little pantry shelves. I'm not an organized person. I'm a messy person, I'm a disaster. When it comes to my kids' stuff, I usually try to be pretty organized. And so I did that. And now Wesley's helping me open this box. <laughs> Got him a new sleep suit. Sleep suit. I love these sleep suits for my babies, but they're so freaking expensive. So we only have a few and they get ruined so quickly too. Like, you know, enough blowouts, dirty mornings. You never know which, what's gonna happen, but they get ruined. And they're, they're but I love them, they're so nice. I use them with Flynn too. Okay guys, I've got some packages to open. So that's what I'm doing. While I'm opening these, I'll tell you about the shows that I've been kind of watching. I watch shows randomly like while I'm doing other things. So like I'm doing other work that I can also listen to something else while I'm doing it. So there's like this competition show. It's like a hundred like strong, the strongest people in the world or a hundred people. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like um, Squid Games a little bit, but like for real, but it's like a competition. No one dies obviously, but it's a reality competition show to see who's like the strongest person in the world or something. So I've been loving that. And then I've been watching Perfect Match, which is like trashy reality television. And I've been really loving that. And I've also been watching some docu-series. I just like, it takes me like months to watch a show because I'll like watch episodes as I can, like in the middle of the night while I'm working. So anyway, I was just watching the match. And what did I buy? <gasps> oh my God, you guys, this is a big moment. I got fake nails. I don't do nails, obviously. I used to paint my nails way back in the day, but now my dermatillomania has gotten so bad that like it's literally just so stupid to try to paint my nails or to do my nails ever. So I just don't do them. But I'm going to the Kids Choice Awards this weekend and I don't want my nails to look all like nasty yucky. So I was like, what should I do? I don't want to paint them. It'll just all come off. It'll look bad. So I got some fake nails. So I'm going to try them. And I bought a couple pairs. So whichever ones I like better, I will wear on Saturday. Oh, because that's the other thing. I have to be able to rip them off right away. Like I don't want them to stay on because I don't want nails. I literally only want them to be on for like an hour. <laughs> so that's the problem. So I have to see how that works. And this is a purse. Okay, this is so extra. I didn't realize it did that. This is pretty extra. I don't know that I'm gonna use this one. But it was cheap, so it's fine. How would you even hold this? It reminds me of those dogs with the long hair, the really skinny, long face, big dogs with the long hair. Do you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, these are extremely sparkly. I feel like I have a million shoes that look just like this, but these are definitely a better quality than the ones that I have, so that's nice. I don't think I'm gonna wear these this weekend, but I just needed generic pumps like this for my live shows that were sparkly. You can't really tell how sparkly they are, but they're very sparkly, they're very pretty. So I'm not quite sure. Okay, so when people go to red carpets and go to events, like usually they get like stylists or they just know what they're doing. I never know what I'm doing and stylists are really freaking expensive. So I just try to make it up and just try to go like simple and that way no one can make fun of me they're just like oh what a generic outfit okay that's fine so never go crazy but i'm never know how to do it either i just kind of like get a couple of options and just figure out what i want to do so i have like a pink dress i think that i want to wear but i kind of like these little circly dupes aren't those kind of fun i don't know maybe they're awful okay so here's a clutch option since my dress is so boring i was like maybe my clutch or my shoes can be fun so i got a couple of cute like fun options i feel like this is kind of funky and weird but i also kind of hate it a lot so i don't know oh my god I got a new shower head for my shower. I'm so excited about this because the water at our new place is like harsh. I feel like my, I've been having like really bad acne. My hair feels like dry and brittle. So I feel like it's the water, like the water's super harsh and gross here. So I got a shower head with like a water filter in it. So it like filters the water. So it's like softer or something like that. So I don't know, hopefully it works. I'm gonna try out one of these nails. But guys, tell me some tips on how to like put these on so that they come off really easily because I don't know, I'm scared it's gonna like not come off. I'm scared. Like, is this super strong? I've never, ever, ever, ever done nail glue and put nails on ever in my life. So I'm worried this is about to be a horrible idea. Maybe if I just put like barely any on, it will be fine. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Oh my God. These are so long. Oh my God. I can't imagine having long nails. 
Okay, obviously too long, not the right shape. I can't stand the way they feel. <gasps> okay, but if I find ones that are shorter and more generic that I can just take off, that would be so it. But I already can tell this glue is strong and now I'm scared. I barely put any, like I just literally got a little dot and I can tell it's very strong. So now I'm kind of nervous that like these aren't gonna come off easily and that's what I need. So should I just use like eyelash glue or something? I don't know, tell me girlies. I can't even turn off my camera. Like how do people do things? Like, oh my God, I just tried to pick something up. How do you do this? As someone who does not wear nails, has never had long nails, this is a horrendous experience. Power to you, ladies who have long nails, because this is not a, a fun experience to me. They gotta go, okay, let's see. So this one, I can tell is already coming off. Let's see if I can get these off. It says you're not supposed to like just pull them off, but here we go. Okay, yeah, that feels like it'll rip off my nail. Okay, so if I just did like a tiniest dab of glue, it comes off pretty easy. But the thumb, I think I pressed it too long, too hard. Ah, oh, there's too much, okay. I'm gonna get nail polish remover. Okay, goodbye. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go to bed. I do not feel good and I need to get better quick because I'm not about to go to the Kids Choice Awards sick and get other people sick. That nail glue stuff, nope, can't do it. There's no way I'm doing that. My nails now is driving me crazy. The feeling, the texture, bleh, not a thing, not doing that. So I'm hoping like eyelash glue or something or one of you is gonna give me great advice on something I can use on my nails. Oh my God, my throat hurts so bad. It's something I can use on my nails to make them, the nails come on and off. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, life, whatever. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.